The argument's pretty simple. There's lots of these elitists, these people who think philosophy is something you have to get all this this background information because uh, the truth, the real intricacies and meaning is somehow in one of these quantum layers. It's in this weird behavior of photons, you know, when they approach a two-slit experiment, that's where the truth lies. And, uh, you know, it's in some sort of bizarre nuance in between religion and science. And it's caught in there. There's where the truth is. It's somewhere floating around in some sort of crap even arguing the biology and like, yeah, let's go through the biology and try to extract some sort of little angel gene there might be an angel gene in there no you don't have to know all the little parts inside of a cell to know what a cell is to know what replication is to know the basic mechanism the fact that it's four billion years of that stuff you don't have to have a chemistry degree to understand that the sun beats down on a sea of ammonia on planet Earth in a kind of caustic atmosphere and a little bunch of compounds start to form and those compounds smash into each other constantly over billions or millions of years and eventually, whoa, okay, one of them ends up being this DNA molecule and the race is on. You don't need a degree in advanced physics to understand something as simple as, yes, these are little machines, they fight with each other for survival, and that's the standard of fitness. You don't have to go to a university to learn this stuff. You don't have to spend your life shuffling through pages and pages and pages of poetry and bibble babble and nonsense to realize God is a fantasy, just a made up crock of crap, and that the reality is in the matter, it's in the energy, yeah, you know, I, I just, uh, this is just disgusting. And, uh, you know, you can see the, the value relativism leaking back into this conversation. That's really what this is all about. If you claim that the existence of a sentient being creates value, that claim is somehow outrageous because it doesn't fit in with this notion that we can just all make it up. We can all just declare value. I like the color green, therefore green is good. That only exists for my lifetime, and then some other color is the best color. You know, there, there is no intrinsic or fundamental concern. We can all just make up our values, you know, to suit our convenience. And uh, certainly the world's run on that kind of crap. That's how we end up in this elitist, capitalist crap world. It's because assholes can sit there and just deny what's happening. They can deny with everything they touch and, and consume and, and live with is made out of. They can look at a diamond and pretend people didn't die for this stupid thing. But it's all pretending, it's all evasion. And uh, you know now they're so evasive that uh, now you can't even, they won't even have the argument because arguing is somehow now, that's not in the ether. That's not part of the let's all just make it up kind of philosophy. You can't have a make it up world if people argue because then you'll expose each other for the frauds that you are. You're all naked at perverse. That's all it comes down to. The whole crowd is, everybody's naked in terms of having any credibility. None of you are willing to do what it takes to have any integrity, which is fight for it. Yeah, so fuck you. I mean, really, it's just stupid. It's stupid to say that value doesn't exist when sentience exists. It's just stupid that it can't be understood to be that value is being damaged, that there's a negative value happening, happening. It's not just in the little rat's brain, it's in the observable reality. We can observe it right out here. You don't have to be one of the rats, you can be out here and you can observe the rats and you can see the value happening. Ah, fuck, people are just so dumb.